first things first. Open the magazine. Remove plastic core from the left feed side. Also, remove core holder from the right take up side. For take up you can use core adapter or just plastic film core. Place holder into plastic core. Then place it on a take up spindle. Join the two guide rollers together. Before moving on, make sure your magazine is clean and dust free. Move guide rollers towards take up side. Remove feed side core holder. Remember to handle unexposed film in total darkness. Push holder into film core. Place film roll on the left magazine spindle. Grab the film leader and insert it into the feed mechanism. Gently turn the driving gear until film comes out of the left channel of the magazine throat. Before forming a loop, the leader is pulled out of the left channel of the magazine throat. Then laid smoothly round the left outer edge of the magazine housing. Pull until the end of the film matches with the marking at the left cover hinge. Now you are ready to make film loop. Do it by inserting film leader into the right channel of the magazine to the take-up core. The sprocket in the channel is turned gently so that the inserted film is engaged. Remember that the film loop needs to remain the same size. Move guide rollers to the left. Now you can wind up film onto a take-up plastic core. Disengage two guiding rollers. When you are sure that the film sits correctly, you can close the magazine and turn the light on. Indicator should show how many meters of film are left. You can use optional magazine blim. Not only it will decrease the noise level, it will also serve as additional protection against dust, or sunlight. Loading daylight spools is similar, besides it can be done in subdued light. Engage guide rollers. Remove core holders from both sides. Your film leader should be arrow shaped. If it's not, you can trim it with scissors. Place empty spool onto take up spindle. And spool with film onto feed spindle. From this point loading is nearly the same. Again laid film around left magazine housing. Stop after reaching the notch. Insert leader into right channel. When you are done, insert film leader into take up spool slot. Wrap film a couple of times around the spool. Then place it on the spindle. Wind a few times to make sure film runs smoothly with correct tension. Just don't disengage guide rollers after loading is done.
When you are ready, tighten the spools by turning two knobs in direction showed by arrows. Now it's time to mount magazine into a camera. Loose the front screw, and remove protection plate. Open camera door. Gently put film loop through top window. Secure magazine by fixing the front screw. Open the pressure plate. By pushing down and turning inching knob, registration pin will come out. Slide film under registration pin. Match position of sprocket hole with pin. Close pressure plate. Turning inching knob counterclockwise, make sure your film loop runs smoothly. Remember, film loop has to follow inside diagram. Plug power supply. Gently pressing power switch you can make sure film runs correctly. Or you can just switch camera on, and run a few feet of film to make sure everything is alright. Turn camera off, and close the door. Again turn inching knob counterclockwise a couple more times. It will remove exposed film from gate area. Finish with resetting counter to zero. You are now ready to go, good luck.